Some things we use in everyday life were invented by adults, but you'll be astonished to know at how many things have been invented by young people. The youth have the capability for great creativity and imagination. Hello besties and welcome to another informative video. Simon Petrus was just a 12th grader when news about his seamless free-to-call phone invention was brought to the media in 2016. The invention which took two years for him to complete was put together using scraps of old televisions, mobile phones and anything else around him. From the young age, Simon taught himself how to do intricate things using limited resources. His project required around $3,000 Namibian dollars for funding, which was hard to come by, given the fact that his parents were unemployed. Regardless, his parents believed in their son's God-given talent. The fact that he grew up in the village with little or no access to electricity, smartphone, internet access, and the fact that he has never traveled abroad. His parents sacrificed a lot to ensure that their son's project was a success. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to our channel with notifications on. This helps you catch up with all our latest videos. Now, Simon grew up in the Oshikunde village between Enana and Okongo town. He invented a whole prototype unit comprising of a working radio, television, light bulb, a fan, and a socket that can be used as a mobile phone charging port. This was not his first invention though. In 2012, he invented an electric car followed by an electric converter and a windmill power generator in 2014. In 2015, the young man won first prize at the NAM Power competition for young innovators in Namibia for creating a two-in-one machine that works as a seed dryer and a cooler. When he scooped the first prize at regional level for his free-to-call phone in 2016, some judges thought that he had an engineer at home helping him but the only help that he had was from his teachers. Simon's natural talent to reverse engineer things has rubbed off against his peers. When asked about his future, he mentioned that he aspires to become an electronics engineer. His aspiration turned into reality when he gained admission into the Ventuk Vocational Training Center where he is now a student and has unlimited freedom to explore his creativity. Simon is one bright gentleman who at any time saw the challenge and found a solution in the time where there was a scarcity for information and materials he needed. He has done amazing things, but this is just the beginning of what he can possibly invent next. Our wish is that many more free-to-think young people join the movement of the youth creating solutions in their neighborhood. We shared Simon's story in the series of Discovering People of Africa in the hope that we start a conversation on how we can best foster innovation for the youth in Africa. Simon's story has made waves across the world when New Era brought it to light. If you know of any youth in your area making a positive impact in terms of innovation, let's chat away in the comment section. If this video was helpful to you or inspiring in any way, please help us share it and be sure to check out the description box. I'll be attaching a few links for you to do further reading. So from here on, signing out and goodbye besties.